So I know you have your children's book coming out, and I heard you just speaking about that, but can you tell me a little bit about TJ and how much of that character is inspired by your life? Oh, God. Little TJ is a little girl inside of me that I still let thrive. You ever hear that hint, um, saying, don't kill the little kid inside of you? Because that that's my... thats I'm introducing the world to the little TJ and the little me. And I ha she has a voice and everything, and the world gets to meet her. And what I love about her is that when she's met with obstacles in life, she always sees the glass as half full. It's so easy to see it as half empty, right? So I'm trying to train these babies at a young age to see it as half full. And it's your choice to do so. You can choose joy at any moment. <laughs> Mary J wrote your essay for the Time 100, and she called you courageous, she called you strong. How do you stay so strong, especially as a woman of color in show business, which it's not always easy? No, I, I, my strength is in my vulnerability. So I lean in, into that, because that's where the strength is. Um, in order to fix or change anything, you have to be vulnerable. You, you must. And that takes heart. That's brave being vulnerable, trying to be strong. People do that every day. But that one person who's not afraid to be vulnerable, that's where change comes. Because you're doing something that people, uh, don't let them see you cry. Let them see you cry, it's human. And working with Fantasia and becoming friends with Fantasia, she's here tonight. Can you tell me about supporting each other in this event and this evening? I am, I've always been a fan of hers long before I met her. When I saw her on um, American Idol, I was like that powerhouse voice, that woman, her soul, her spirit. I just knew big things were coming for her. So I'm just incredibly very proud of her and I'm, I'm just happy for her. And what convinced you to go back into that, into the color purple? I never saw myself in the color purple. I was, they came after me for Broadway and I ran. I was like, no, no way. I just didn't think my voice would hold out, hold up for eight shows a week. So I declined. I ran. Um, but you know, what's meant for you will find you because I I ran from Suge and she found me it was like I to come back and I couldn't turn it or down this time <laughs> and how much of Taraji was in Suge Avery not much Suge is very um I'm clumsy <laughs> she's very elegant I pretend to be elegant <laughs> well you look very elegant tonight thank congratulations thank, thank you so, so much. much thank you